Right, hello everyone. Uh, sorry, I just got to move my mic real fast. Welcome back to another episode of Nothing to Everything. Uh, I am going away for the weekend, so I'm going to have to pre-record -re these videos. So sorry about that. Um, so this one will be one where we do the sponsor tasks and then... Uh, what? How? How am I still alive? What? Uh, okay, nice. Right, can't 180, but can somehow survive that. Right, yeah, sponsor tasks we'll do now. Um, oh, two tracks at night, that's just going to take forever to get to. Why did I do that? No way. No, why did I re-roll? I should have just... I should have done it. I have no idea how to do this one and actually get it consistently. Oh gosh. Right, uh, we're going into the uh, canyon apparently. Why did I do Oh my god, that is literally the worst task I think I could ever get. I've never seen one as bad as that. Near miss at 75 kilometers an hour five times. I'm just gonna have to find a place where I can even do that. Like, I'm going to have to just find a big hill and then just try it. Will this get me to 70? I need it to... Like, this is this is how fast I need to be going. And I need to get five near misses. And I'm not even at 70 kilometers an hour yet. Okay, broke kind of too hard there. Should have not slowed down as much. This is going to be tough. This is actually probably the toughest challenge in Descenders that I've seen. Just because you got to get enough speed from somewhere and near miss it. Don't hit it, near miss it. Get close enough but not too far away. There's a lot of stuff that you need to be doing to get this to work. Jeez. Um, like, that's a near miss, right? But I'm not got... Well, I can't speak English. I'm not going anywhere near as fast enough as I should be. Uh, finish line, please. I'll take fakey balance. Not really necessary, but I'll take it. It's not necessary at all for this area, but I will take it for because why not? Right, this is way too flat. This is way, 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 way too flat for any of this. Finish without letting go of acceleration. Uh, I can do that. See, I can't even like off-road off the tracks here because, I mean, you kind of have to stay stay on the track to withstand a chance of just continuing it on. The off part of this track is so like jagged and there's so many things you can just die on that it's so much easier just to take the path rather than going off of it. Uh, I could do a flip here. Don't fail me. There we go. Good. Sometimes I accidentally hit brake whilst trying to hit L1. So that's why I fail that sometimes when I try and do a trick. Oh, and I'm used to just holding down the brake when I'm in the air for some reason. I don't know why I do it, but it's what I do. I like hold brake or at least I tap it. I don't know why that is, but it's something I do. Which makes me feel more comfortable with my flipper, I guess. I don't actually know why I do it. Uh, hop across this. way And finish line. Um, this is steep enough, yes. But for an miss, eh, I do not know. This is going to be really steep. Um, oh, there's a lot of curves, though. Just give me a big, sh steep, straight line. I'm definitely letting go of acceleration. Uh... Oh, okay, this... Oh, okay, no. I didn't expect it to drop like that. I thought it was just going to go down and go straight, but no. Go down and take an extremely sharp corner at the same time. Not what I expected at all. That's why I don't like curves. Just like, oh, I thought I could just go down there really fast and straight, but no, it's like, you've got to take two corners for no reason. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to try and get this in the highlands. Oh, I should not have reset that. I would have rather done two tracks at night rather than that because I've got no idea where I'm even going to be able to do it unless I find it really luckily then I've got no idea how I'm meant to be doing this see it doesn't go just straight down there it's got a curve off over here for like no reason this is this isn't very cool I don't like this I'd rather it go straight and fast that's what I need not round here this is our third one right isn't it yeah okay this will be the third canyon node and then we've got two more and then I'll probably switch up to the highlands I think that's how it's going to be because this is tough although high speed does allow for some nice little bit of stoppy riding big fan of that it's yeah. quite stylish quite stylish uh, oh I could probably get it out of this node maybe who knows I'll give it a go I'll give it a go 
Not sure though. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Fish out breaking once. I get that. Okay. I thought this was not meant to have curves in it. Mm, curves though? No. Right, this isn't very fast. 51 kilometers an hour. I need to be at 70 to 75. Right. And there's not really anywhere I can... That counted as off-road. I'm on the track though. Shit. Shit. No, not shit. Not, no. I'm good. For some reason I can bounce across everything. Okay. I don't know why that one counted. I wasn't even off-road. Oh, oh well. Oh, I shouldn't have chose this. Zero steepness, zero curves, and just two stunts. What is this even going to look like when it spawns in? Incredibly flat. And, oh, of course it's going to be this one. And three backflips, what? Okay, there's your one. Okay, I can do three backflips here. Not that I need to, because this is the last node. Two. And then this will be three. You can usually double this if you have enough speed. Don't double backflip it. For two stunts, you you spawn quite a lot, but I suppose there isn't really anything going on on this node. So you could have given me do mini boss jumps, because there's one right there. I mean, it is the first one we've had, but at least there is one. <coughs> Sorry, got a bit of a weird throat at the moment. Um, yeah. One, two, land, and 360 off. And done. Bosh. Um... I'm just going to go in the ranch. I wouldn't do anything here, though. Uh, actually, I'm going to use it as a thumbnail because I was here for like a split second. There you go. Uh, whoops. And pick my hawk. Thanks. Right. Now time to go on to the highlands and see if I can figure this stuff out. Um, I don't know where I'm going to find one. I'm just going to hope for a steep uh, highlands node, and that should be okay. Because I really can't get it here. Like, there's no way of getting fast enough. Oh, please, you could have just gave me mini boss jumps. I would have loved mini boss jumps. This one right here. I would have loved having mini boss jumps because this is so simple. Yeah, they take a little while to find, but it's nice and simple. It's a straightforward task. Do three of them rather than go at this speed and near miss these things. Like, what are you going to count? It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I'm just going to have to find one and then hope that I can near miss through some rocks a couple of times. Probably going to have to get quite a bit of help as well. Because 50 kilometers an hour does give you enough speed for a near miss, as you can quite clearly see. But it doesn't count. It does not count. Fakey here. Uh, give me this. I'm not doing the boss jump. I'll do the fire node. It's just because it's going to weave back and forth on itself. That's the only problem. Uh, even so, it's not that steep. Not for 75 kilometers an hour steep. Or 70 even. Like, there's 60, but... They're still not quick enough for my needs. One. Okay. Oh, it didn't even count, what? Oh, it did. Was that two? Right, okay, we know we found a spot that we can do it in, at least. Right. Just cycle as fast as you can. 64? Just gotta keep an eye on the speedo at the same time. It's like a black box in my car. Right, where was the tree that we sped past? This one, right? There it is again. Right. That didn't count that time. What? That was not... How was that not a near miss? Okay, I get... Okay, maybe... This is quite... Shit, tough. Okay. This is what I mean. This is going to be the hardest task I think I've ever seen in Descenders. Is doing this near miss bollocks. I don't need this. I can, I can deal with getting fast off-road. But having near misses as well. Sometimes you just don't want to count them. Right, now count it, because I saw it say near miss. Okay, thank you. Right. I'm just going to rinse and repeat this until it's done. I think it might have counted. No. Oh, okay, it's four. Okay, we've got to do it one more time. I was lucky there. I got, I got two out of just the one there. 
Right. Well, this okay. This wasn't too bad. We found it on our like second node here. It's just like you got to really ride off off track for it. Right. Give it to me. Give it to me. There we go. And we're done. Nice. Let's back out of there. Okay, that wasn't too bad actually. That wasn't too bad. Highlands coming in clutch again. Probably the goated area. One of the best areas in the game is Highlands. It's the starter one, but it's still really good. Still really, really good. Right, um, let's get ourselves in the office and collect all of those and level up. Bosh. We are now a, a Boreal Master. Very cool. Right, um, Career Plus Desert. I'm now the master of off-road. Right, change the camera angle to the one that I should be on. One, two, three, and four. And then let go of the acceleration. Is this guy farming as well? I don't know. He seems to be sort of farming, or not really, because he just died. Nice one, dude. Well done. Uh, I feel bad that you actually kind of failed there. Is that guy farming, or is he just doing big jumps? I'm confused. That's what I want to like look in the desert for, is people that are also farming. Because it's interesting to see how other people do it. Like some people struggle and then some people are like really good. Some people even do it on the hardtail. I don't know why you'd want to do that. You're kind of just risking your neck for no reason. Just for a cooler looking trick but no extra rep. But I suppose if it works for you, it works for you. I guess you get a bit more spin speed out of it. But it's not really 100% necessary. I don't really know how much more doing 720s and doubles even gives you. It can't be that much more. Right, there's 12,000. Bosh, uh, take that, and then I'll take that, and then I'll take this, and then I'll go here. Danger zone node to kick off with. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Right. Let me front flip, and then do like a 360 table. Yeah. And then do like a 360 back flip, knack knack, to front flip Superman, to 360 no hander, to 360 back flip table, to no hander front flip, to back flip. Super Backman Superman? Uh backflip Superman is what I meant to say. Yeah. You just gotta know what tricks you're gonna do. You gotta like list them off. So if you do a 360 backflip, then do like a 360 and a front flip. Or a backflip. And then it sort of gives that nice uh trick variety break so you get more rep. I don't know how often it is, but I know if you just keep spamming 360 backflips over and over again, they're not gonna be worth much rep. So switching up each trick in between is like a is a, is a big W. Don't hit the tree. Thank you very much. At least I got a near miss. I got how much did I get out of that? 292 rep for that near miss. Very nice. Um, not fakey balance node. That would be nice if you get me one of those, but it's all up to you whether you want to do that. I'd rather take a luck spike or something over a fakey balance node. Uh, if you're going to do that, but it's, uh, still would be nice. Makes it a lot faster for me, personally. Especially when I have to make multiple videos. Right, uh, oh, okay, that was a big drop. I wasn't sure if he was going to survive that or not. I didn't get the triangle, but even so, sometimes the triangle doesn't even pop up and you still die. Wee, there we go. And then this, easy. Do that to this. See, I know what I'm going to do. It's always 360 backflip and then like a 360 or a front flip or a backflip. It's just so standard. It's so much... I, I don't know why I do it that way around. Uh, but I'll always do like a 360 backflip to like front flip no hander or front flip Superman. And then I should like 360 a bit more often. But even so, it's not much of a problem if I don't do that. See the steepness coming in clutch with a lot more rep. Uh, I'll be taking this. And then I'll be taking... This one, I guess? One steepness, not very fast, but it gives me about 20k, which is good. Yeah, this one's looking a bit shallow. But as long as I get 18,000 rep out of this, uh, I am done and I profit, so it's worth it. Just gotta keep the speed going whilst I'm vegan. Pump, 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 pump again. Just gotta give it, keep it above the 50 mark, then you get your high speed bonus, which is extra, extra rep. So faster, please. Like 40, 49 is good, but I need I need it over that to uh, be getting my extra rep in. Like it is not tediously slow, at least, but it's not giving me high speed bonus rep. Okay, 13,000, 14,000, 15. 
I need 16, 17, 18, if that's alright with you. If you just give me that. 17. 18. 19. And 20k would be really nice. Okay, don't worry about it. It's all good. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. I mean, I didn't even need that much. I needed 8,000 and I just skipped over it. Okay, the most low effort item in the game. Make the texture pink and slap a circle in the middle that's a different colour. Wow, I am a graphic designer. Right, uh, thank you all very much for watching and I'm going to hand you over to my member screen, Bosch. Thank you all very much for watching and thank you very much to my money havers, Andrew Grimm, Luna James, Perks and Francis. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Subscribe for more of this stuff and I'll see you a lot later. Goodbye.